you may be asking why the big Colorado super tanker hasn't been called in to help. And Denver 7's Jackie Cray is here. Jackie, this really boils down to a paperwork issue? Right, contracts and approvals from agencies, and it's awful why we watch people uh, lose their homes. Now, the super tanker can dump more than 20,000 gallons of retardant, and it's based in Colorado Springs. Now, something we could sure use, right, on the number of devastating fires burning to our south. And you just mentioned more than 130 homes have burned in Costilla County in the spring fire. So what is the holdup? It's a contract issue. As we just said, the Colorado Division of Fire Protection had not signed off on the contract to use the super tanker until last week. But Bob Solberg with Global Super Tanker says it has been frustrating. It's a lost ability to to help our, our neighbors. I, you know, we've we uh, we didn't get into this business just to fly. We all have a, uh, a motivation to be able to help. And the super tanker has contracts with El Paso and Douglas counties and is working on a contract with the U.S. Forest Service, too. Now, the state spokesperson tells us tonight it's in the global super tanker's hands now as they have to get approvals to fly. In the past, that's been with the FAA or the U.S. Interagency Air Tanker Board. So sometimes a lot of red tape. So frustrating. Absolutely. Right. Thank you, Jackie.